Hi, it's Steve Maxwell here, and I want to show you about a much easier method for priming seasonal water systems. This is the kind of system that you might have in a lakeside cottage. It, it could be an irrigation system. There are a bunch of different situations where you might have a water system like this. Uh, the trouble is, uh, is priming those systems can be quite troublesome. Uh, so let me explain what I mean. Take a look here at the, at the drawing on the left. Um, Let's take a closer look at it, larger look. Uh, we've got the water pump itself. That could be a piston pump or a jet pump. Uh, and then here's the intake line, which goes down and connects to the foot valve, which is in the body of water you're drawing from. Now, in order for pumps like these to work, that intake line needs to be completely filled with water. If there's any air in there, um, even a little, it can stop the pump from working because water pumps can only pump water. The thing about seasonal systems is that you've got to drain them um, at least once a season and that means putting water back in the intake line to get the system working again. That operation is called priming and it's typically done by removing a plug that you see here on the top of the pump and then pouring water down into the pump so it flows down into the intake line, completely filling it. Now, there's a number of hassles there, one of which is that you're not near the water. That's why you've got the pump, is to pump the water uh, up from where it is to where you are. So you've got to haul water up in buckets. Another problem is pouring that water down into the pump uh, doesn't always go smoothly because air has got to come out of the port that you've opened up. Um, and that can prevent water from, from fully going into the intake line. So if you've got air pockets in there, uh, when the pump starts to work, those air pockets are going to move up the intake line, they're going to hit your pump, and it's going to stop pumping. And so all in all, there's a lot of frustration involved in uh, priming pumps in the usual way. Uh, and that's why I came up with this alternative pretty well 20 years ago now. Look down here, and you can see... Um, what I call a priming port. Um, you won't see a, a product advertised like this, but that's essentially how it functions. It's a port that you can open and close with this valve to allow water to be injected into the intake line as close as possible to the end of that intake line near the foot valve where, it, where the system is going to pick up water. Now in this case I have a hand pump for that job. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show you more about now. Uh, but before I do, let's take a closer look at the actual priming port. Uh, it's nothing but some ordinary hardware store plumbing fittings. This happens to be a one and a quarter inch intake line. So I've got some fittings here and here to connect a T into that line. And then into the T, I have an elbow with a valve uh, and another another fitting on here to attach the hand pump to it. So in practice, what happens is you connect the hand pump to the priming port, you open up the priming port valve, and then you start pumping. And it forces water up from the bottom end of the intake line all the way up through to the pump. Air is constantly coming out of the pump because you've removed this plug up here at the top. And the operation works really smoothly. When I first installed a system like this, it was in a seasonal water system with a 300 foot horizontal run uh, between a spring and the water pump. And even with an extreme situation like this, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes of operation with the hand pump in order to fill that line. And the, it, the system just works really reliably. Um, now, as I said, these fittings are available at every hardware store, and it doesn't really matter exactly how you do this. You might have to use different fittings, uh, what, depending on what's available. But the main thing is that you make this connection, um, this openable connection, so that you can connect a water pump to the intake line and prime from the bottom end. Now, the pump that we have used for years is this uh, hand-operated bilge pump. You can get it from marine specialty suppliers, but any kind of, uh, of pump that can take water from your water source and push it up through the intake line is going to work. Now in practice we haven't actually used this hand pump 
for many years um, because since we installed the system, uh, a neighbor has created a Four Seasons water system that's frost-proof, doesn't need to be primed, and so we just simply connect a garden hose to the outside of that building and then put the garden hose, the other end of the garden hose, onto this fitting here. We've got uh, some clamps and pipes to make that easy. We turn the water on uh, at the neighboring house, and uh, we open up the, the valve right here, and we have the plugs removed on the top of the pump, that you can see here and in a very short time the whole line is completely filled with water and it works really well. So I hope this is clear. It's a real time and frustration saver for anyone with a, a seasonal water system to prime. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.